Yeah. She did. She book. wrote a book. <laughs> yes, you did. And I tore right through it. It's a great read. It's fascinating. Thank you. It came out today, so I haven't heard any feedback. <laughs> I don't know what anyone thinks of it, but Is I'm this glad. the first feedback that you're Pretty getting? Pretty much, yeah, outside of the people that helped me write it. <laughs> well, it's a great book. We'll Thank tell you. you how much we enjoyed it. Yeah. This world is fascinating. You go deep into the world of MLMs. Yes. And people call them by many different names. MLMs. Network marketing, direct marketing, direct sales. Pyramid scheme. I can't call them that. You can't. No, From because I'll get sued. You can't call them that, but right here on the cover. Is a little, <laughs> I got a lot of help. A I got pyramid. a lot of help with the cover yeah. art. Yes. What, it, what exactly is an MLM? So a multiple marketing uh, company is a business that's shaped like this. Slightly. <laughs> but we can't call it a pyramid. Yeah. yeah there's a couple people at the top. Um, and then they have their the upline, the top sellers, who are supposed to recruit like usually five people each. And then they're supposed to recruit five people, and they're supposed to recruit five people infinitely. And the way the money flows is that each person who signs up pays like a fee at the beginning to sign up. Yep. Or sometimes they have to pay for some products and stuff, but they're paying those fees in. And then they fail pretty quickly, usually, and then more people sign up. So that's where the money comes from. And isn't it something like 99.99% make no money or lose money? Only 1% make a dollar, even. And, and yeah. We, yeah. Laughed when you, we laughed when you said infinity because infinitely because you can't keep doing that. 13 levels and you surpass the population of the earth. Right. So, so <laughs> yeah. right. that's actually impossible. Totally impossible. Um, yeah. MLMs specifically prey on women. Mm -hmm. These Tupperware parties, the, the sex par know, uh, toy and parties. So fun. And they're so fun. But, and we get to hang out with our friends. Wait, I want to make this about me <laughs> okay, for a second. Sorry. But, um, sorry. Please. Why not why men? Why stop now? Yeah. <laughs> To go to a nose trimmer party or a, a beef jerky for okay. you. There okay. are, first okay. of all, MLMs yeah. for you. Okay. Is it as soon as crypto? this is done, <laughs> yes, it's crypto uh, or there's telecom companies. There are like lots of dude MLMs. Um, yeah, but gotta, seventy-five percent, seventy-five percent of people involved are women, and it's because. Um, the companies go after people who are, have some sort of economic precarity or like trouble, you know, moving up the ranks. To here's the thing. There's the pay gap we're fighting against. If someone called you today and was like, you could make another $1,000 a week just sitting in your house and talking to your girlfriends and selling makeup. And that, if that was true, I would be doing that. Yeah, for where do sure. I sign? Yeah, where do I sign? Let me do it. So, you know, we all make less than men. We all take care of the home. We're all homemakers. We take care of the children. We have, like, we don't have, especially at the age, you know, middle age, um, we don't have that kind of movement in the economy that that other people get and that's and it's not just women because it's now becoming you know um immigrants or people you know anyone who has a population that has hard time getting really good solid employment right. mm -hmm. which is everybody right I now. I also feel like they, they <laughs> sucker women in with this promise of you know you can you can achieve independence yeah you can be your own girl boss and yes. that's alluring girl boss yeah for a, I'm 46 years old when I hear girl <laughs> boss I'm just like <laughs> um <laughs> yeah boss babes and vampire but it's true my great-grandma did um Avon and it did help her feel like some agency in her life because she didn't have a career. She got pregnant at like 14 and had a bunch of kids and um, really didn't have like a job outside of that. Um, and it felt good to get on stage or get a pin or get like a fancy jacket and be around people and be lauded. So I do think those things are really valuable. And I think the parties are really fun. They're actually sure. super right. fun. Right. I don't know. I did one in my house when I was like 20. It was like a lingerie party. And everyone came out and modeled their Tell me more. boudoir yeah. sets. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you touched on it a little bit, but besides just that you can make $1,000 a week, there, there are some psychological components yes. that they recruit with. Yes. And to me, that's almost more powerful. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about what they do. So the recruitment is, you know, just things that appeal to all of us. Like you can have time and money and freedom and you don't have to have any qualifications and the world is yours. And we have a secret, you know, we have right. a secret that right. they don't want you to know. 
Um, so, yeah, so then they rely on these logical fallacies that we all kind of rely on in our lives, and one of them is honoring sunk costs. It's like when you buy a lemon for a car and you get it worked on and worked on and worked on, there comes a point where you have to be like, I can't fix this car, and I have right. to get rid of this car. Um, this is me at the blackjack table. Okay, <laughs> that's exactly yeah. right. I've lost a thousand dollars. You might well, as well. Well, now I'm in a thousand. Yeah. Right. Right. What am I gonna do? Walk right. away now? Right. Like, no, yeah. I'm gonna. All this I'm gonna. Time and energy. You gotta yeah. stick yeah, it out. all this time. And how much does how how much time does it take for you to lose a thousand dollars? I bet this? in like small one dollar. <laughs> so all night. But it's, it's like it's the it's whole a, free. I got a free. I, I got a free martini, but I've lost two thousand dollars at the table. Right. And then you've lost two thousand dollars, and I'm feeling the anxiety of even you just saying that, where I'm like, you can't walk away at two thousand. And so that's what they rely on is that they know we're all going to do that. And there's a bunch more, like the, the idea that, um, and it's a truth, that we feel losses much more than gains. Yeah. We feel them in our bodies like as trauma. And a gain is like, okay, great. But a loss is like, <gasps> you know. And so we do everything we can to not realize the loss. Right. To not experience the loss. So we stick with a plan that's not working for a really long time. Is there, can the government regulate ah. this, help us? I mean, isn't, it, isn't this what the Federal Trade Commission is you would meant think. to do? Is, it, is there legislation that can be passed to correct this? There's, things are being worked on, but I will say, just to give the FTC a bit of a break, their purview is so enormous. They are tiny, first of all. They're like the size of the smallest of MLM in terms of the people that are there and the money they get to right. use. Um, they're tiny. And their job is, and listen to that, like especially after the pandemic and stuff, their job is false product claims, credit card, card fraud, um, you know, phishing, um, spam, um, mm -hmm. every kind of fraud, your grandma getting taken by somebody that she's never met over the phone. Like, and when you put that up against MLMs where the people who are signed up are like, excited about it it's hard to right. put that first although this is such a bigger problem than those things in numbers um so they have a they have a tough task and i don't blame them you know it, they're doing the best they can so technically mlms are legal mm. what what mm. can <laughs> you... i believe they are not but um they exist because I put I use this comparison all the time like that's like being um, like I'm a murderer um, and because I'm in jail and then I'm not a murderer because I'm not in jail right that doesn't right. make any sense <laughs> but yes. the, the MLMs so will be say, illegal but they yeah, aren't being treated as such so what can be done to you say if the FTC is not stepping in yeah. no what can smart American people do to Buy not my be book. lured in. Buy, Buy book. my book. <laughs> um, <laughs> you do need five other people to buy yeah, the book yeah, also. Yeah. And then, uh, but, but for real, what's our defense? It really is talking about it. You yeah. know, that's the only thing we can do because the government doesn't have the capacity and that's understandable because there are so many. I talked to the FTC recently and one of the women I was talking to was like, it's a very target rich environment right now. And I thought she meant, because I was asking her, why don't we go after these companies? It's a target rich environment. I thought she meant there's too many MLMs and she, no, she was talking about us. She was like, this is the perfect environment for these companies to come after you. Like, you, we are all desperate. We're all, like, wanting to realize the American dream and believe this is a meritocracy and believe this is a place where you work hard and you get rewarded for it and all that, you know, right. whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so talk about it and be aware talk of it. Talk about it, tell your friends, yeah. you know. They're, they're fine pitching you some garbage hair product or whatever. You should be fine being like, you know what, mm -mm, no, this thanks. is not cool. And I think the tide's turning. Thank you very much for talking with us. <laughs> Selling the dream.